Former President Donald Trump survived an assassination attempt with the shooter firing eight shots at him, one grazing his right ear. So how did the Secret Service fail so badly? Well, there was a hearing about that on Monday. And why are House Democrats preaching gun control nonsense instead of focusing on this massive security breach during a hearing with Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle? Can you believe some Democrats took the opportunity to push for gun control? Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So you won't believe what went down at the House Oversight and Accountability hearing today. Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle didn't really want to give definitive answers to any questions and House members were getting really frustrated to the point where a member of Congress used profanity twice. Here's Representative Nancy Mace from South Carolina. You stated earlier, Secret Service is not political. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, would you say leaking your opening statement to Punchbowl News, Politico's playbook, and Washington Post several hours before you sent it to this committee as being political, yes or no? I have no idea how my statement got out. <sighs> well, that's bullshit. So, Mr. Chairman, I would like to ask unanimous consent to enter into the record articles by Punchbowl News, Political Playbook, Washington Post, all uh, done at 5.24 a.m., 6.12 a.m., 6.34 a.m., uh, a solid three to four hours before this committee got your statement. Without objection, to ordered. Okay. Is the Secret Service fully cooperating with our committee? Yes. Okay. You say you're fully cooperating with this committee. Um, on July 15th, this committee sent you a list of demands of information that we wanted. Has the Secret Service provided this committee a complete list of all law enforcement personnel that were there that day? Have you done that? Have you provided a list to the Oversight Committee? Yes uh, or no? I'll have to get back to you on that. <laughs> that is a no. Have you provided all audio and video recordings in your possession to this committee, as we asked on July 15th, yes or no? I would have to get back to you that on that. That is a no. You're full of shit today. You're just being completely dishonest. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman I want to Mr. Ch I'm Come on. We have to maintain decorum in this committee, any, no matter how upset we get. Have you provided any and all memos to this committee that we've asked? So if that wasn't bad enough, that the director of the Secret Service wasn't answering questions to the satisfaction of those asking them, we had Democrats who started the showboat for gun control. For example, Jamie Raskin, he is the ranking member on the committee. He's from Maryland. Everybody knows who he is. Well, he kicked off the hearing with a surprising twist. Instead of focusing on why the Secret Service failed to protect Trump, he used the opportunity to push for gun regulation. He mentioned the AR-15 term like nearly a dozen times as if the rifle itself was the villain. He even insinuated that these rifles are the real problem behind mass shootings. Give it a watch. A weapon that can be used to commit a mass shooting in an event under the full protection of the Secret Service, together with dozens of state and local police, is obviously an intolerable threat to the rest of us who do not receive such protection and obviously does not belong in our communities. It's time to pass universal background checks and build on this administration's work to ensure that we permanently close the loopholes in the Brady Law for gun show purchases, online purchases, no in and private sales to prevent those closed. weapons from getting into the hands of people we know to be a threat to others. What happened in Butler shows why even closing these loopholes, however, will not keep assault weapons out of the hands of potential assassins and mass murderers under federal law. I mean, despite the shooter using his father's AR-15, Raskin called for universal background checks and closing the gun show loophole. Guys, they've closed gun show loopholes. There are no gun show loopholes. I know in my state of Pennsylvania, I think every other state, I don't know of any state that doesn't make you go through an FFL in order to purchase a weapon. I don't care if you're trying to sell it to your brother. I, I bought a firearm from a friend of mine. We had to go to an FFL to transfer it. And they had to do the background check and all that as if I was buying it from the store. Raskin went on to argue that the failure of the Secret Service to protect Trump was a reason to ban AR-15s. You can't make this up, guys. Gun grabbers like Raskin have no soul. They'll use any tragedy to push their agenda, which is to disarm all of America. Is this really about protecting us or just another political stunt?
Washington, D.C. Delegate Eleanor Holmes Norton also chimed in saying, I condemn the political violence. It is a threat to democracy. I wanted to discuss one of the roots of political violence. Guns. Really? Guns are the root of political violence. Let's not forget, the root cause of violence is a culture of violence, not inanimate objects. I never saw a gun walk down the street and say, I think I'll shoot that person. It's always the person behind the gun. So these people think if you take the gun away from the bad guy, he's not going to get another gun or he's not going to use a board or a knife or a stick or something to kill someone. It's the actual culture. What is the darkness in the heart of someone who will abuse a gun in a crime? So one good thing out of this hearing was Cheadle finally admitted that the shooting was the most significant operational failure of the Secret Service in decades. But then she defended her position as the best candidate to lead the agency. Oh, my God. From what I understand, she was on Jill Biden's detail and they became friends. And then Jill said, I want her to get the position to run. So she's a DEI hire. Thanks to Jill. How did we get here? How did the Secret Service drop the ball so spectacularly? And why are our leaders so focused on gun control instead of addressing these security failures? All right, thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button and get ready because that culture war rages on. I'll see you in the next one. When I was young, I lost my way. Every road seemed dark and cold. Whisper in the night would say, Child, you'll never alone be bold. Through the storms and the fire, in the quiet of the night.